Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about how to use Alpha Glow in Premiere Pro. This is one of those effects that you may not use very often, but it is a cool thing to know having your repertoire, something you can use to spice up music videos or other things that you want to add effects to. It's just a simple outline effect with a little bit of a glow that works on the Alpha channel. So yeah, Alpha Glow. All right, let's dive in. Let's check it out. I think you should explain a little bit about how Alpha Glow works first, and then I'll show you some examples so you have a good understanding of how to get the results you want from it moving forward. Alpha Glow only works when you create a transparency on the clip you're using, and then it outlines the edges of it. The cleaner the edge, or lower the feather between the clear and the opaque areas, the sharper the result will be. Okay, so for the first example, I have a green screen clip here. And I'm going to just uh, drop on an ultra key. So I'm going to go over to the effects where it says video effects. And just for the, to simplify this tutorial a little bit, I'm just going to open up the two areas where we're going to be using. So I'm going to go over where it says keying. I'm going to open this menu up and then I'm going to go down to where it says stylize. I'm going to open that up. So the first thing I'm going to drag and drop will be an ultra key. So I'm going to drag the ultra key, throw it on the clip. And I'm just going to drag the dropper and uh, just take the grain out here. Okay, great. So now the next thing is, of course, the alpha glow. So I'm gonna grab the alpha glow. I'm going to drag it onto the clip. And right away you can see that she's glowing a little bit, but let's add some color so it's easier to see. So I'm just gonna grab a red. I'm gonna take the fade, I'm gonna remove the fade out and you can see already she's glowing around her. I'm gonna add another color, I'm gonna use the end color and I'll go with kind of a teal color, or a cyan. And now you can see this is when you add two colors, they both fit within the width, so it reduces the, the width in half. So to get the same original thickness, I'll have to double that. So like at 50, it's looking how it was originally, but we're gonna go back to 25, or I guess it was 59, but Okay, so here's something interesting too, is if you switch the order of the, say, the Alpha Glow and the Ultra Key, the Alpha Glow will not work. So if you're wondering about that, is you wanna make sure that your Alpha Glow is on the bottom of your stack here. Okay, so transparencies, like let's say, what if we wanted to use a mask here? So I'm gonna just hit the circle one or the ellipse mask, and you can see that that just creates a mask around here really doesn't do anything. So I'm going to duplicate this clip. I'm going to hold on Alt and drag this up. And then I'm going to go to the bottom layer and I'm just going to delete the mask. And now it looks like we how we started. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the alpha glow. And now you can see just has a little bit of an outline there, but what happened to the circle? So if you want the circle to show up, we're going to go back here. I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to just highlight alpha glow. I'm going to hit command C. And then I'm gonna delete this. And I'm gonna go ahead and nest this. So I'm gonna right click and then go over to where it says nest. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna call this nest, super imaginative. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, now we're going to paste this right here. And now you can see that the circle has shown up. Pretty cool, right? If you use the fade out, it, uh, it really makes it harder to see. And uh, I'm gonna show you just one more thing here too, is if you increase the feather, it will actually make it even harder to see than that. So I'm gonna go back here. Now you can see like, you can barely see that. So really you wanna reduce the feather as much as possible. So we're just gonna go with zero, make it nice and sharp. And now you can see that that's a pretty sharp line. If you remove the fade out, it is nice and crisp. One cool thing you can do as well is, we're gonna go back in here, I'm going to put a keyframe on the mask. So I'm going to remove this out and I'm just gonna move it over just to show you guys some cool things. Okay, so now I'm gonna scrub this along. And now you can see that it keeps the circle shape and it reveals the outline as well at the same time. So it's kind of a kind of a neat little effect that you can do with that over there. So you can go ahead and have fun with that. 
All right, so there's another type of clip. I know you won't always be working with a green screen. So here is just a regular clip. This is just, you know, a dude hanging out with a boom box. And I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna drop a Luma key on here. So I'm gonna take the Luma key, I'm gonna drag it on top. And I'm gonna change this. I'm going to change, I'm gonna leave that at 100, but I'm gonna drag, make this 60. Okay. I'm gonna drag this up, hold down the Alt key, drag it up, duplicate the clip, go to the bottom layer and you delete the Luma key. And then you guessed it, I'm gonna drop the Alpha Glow right on top. So here's the Alpha Glow right on top. You can see it's starting to work its magic. I'm gonna make this green this time. So it kind of makes it simple. You can add it to any kind of clip, but you can see now there's a clear difference here is with this type of clip, it's not a full outline around the guide. Now, if you want, you can adjust the Luma key here. You can use Ultra key. You can use, you know, different kinds of keys. You can mask it in the way that we've shown before. And uh, yeah, there you go. Alrighty, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys like this content. If you found it useful, you know, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions or want to say something nice. I like hearing that. Subscribe if you're new here and share this if you want to be my best friend in the whole world or if you know someone else that likes this and, you know, maybe they'll want to see it too. Alrighty. Well, thank you again. Take care.